catch that one sweet off the tee, that's for sure. Not the same kind of tempo from the Scots in the second half so far, Billy. Is that down to them or is it down to Macedonia simply playing better? I think they've had a little reaction, maybe their manager having a little pop at them at half time. They've come out, they've got a lot more of the ball. Maybe stopped us playing so far. Bannon, he's got it through to Anya. Can Naismith get there? Oh, he doesn't need him! Ikechi Anya puts Scotland in front on his first start for his country. The Tarn Army didn't even know who he was just a couple of weeks ago. They know all about him now. They have a new hero, Ikechi Anya, and Macedonia at nil. Scotland won. Well, it comes probably from our worst period of the game, and I'll tell you what, it's a special goal from the lad, isn't it? Because it's fed out to him, and you're thinking, he's just a shot a few moments ago, it's a sweet strike. And my word, does that fly right into that bottom corner? Lot of pace, lot of power. Well, he's been the top man so far, he's content, isn't he? We've deserved it, all you have to say, although we haven't started this second half as well. But he has been a special player tonight, Anya. And when you see him look at that, only thinking one thing, at the angle, but he's a brilliant, brilliant finish from Akechi Anya, who announces his arrival properly on the international stage, having had a cameo against Belgium on Friday night. In from the start today, really good first half performance. Anya blocks his path, drops to Tosevsky, Tritikovsky, Noristovsky. Scotland holding firm, Maloney couldn't clear it, though Pandev, what a ball from Pandev. That's what cut Scotland open, and is the man who is just on, who breaks their hearts there. It is a first international goal for Jovan Gostovsky, but that was all about Goran Pandev, who put the key into the door and unlocked it. 1-1 it is in Skopje. Yeah, you're right, he's been so quiet in the match. We've been so effective, but we can't stop him on that occasion. Just a genius at work, Pandev, seeing that pass. But Kostovsky, he's still got to do it, he's still got to make the run. He does it within a second, he takes a lovely touch. But it's a right to left, and he just rolls it into the net, past Jilks, and yeah, they have been pressing. You see the run, you see the take, you see the finish, really good. Also, from Kostovsky, but brilliant from Pandev. What a ball from the Napoli player. Kostovsky had the pleasure of finishing it off. Skoda must try and find another goal in the last few minutes here in Macedonia. Up there as well. Incredible, but what an opportunity that was if he could have stayed in his feet, James MacArthur. Final two minutes of the match, and Sean Maloney has a wonderful opportunity here from this free kick. Charlie Mulgrew there as well. Maloney with the right, and Mulgrew with the left. Who is it to be? Everyone back from Macedonia. It is Maloney, and it's in! Wonderful from Sean Maloney! An expert free kick from the free kick master, and Scotland are back in front, and looking good now, surely, in the final two minutes for the three points they looked like they'd slipped away from them well we deserved that after the, the run from MacArthur it looks as if it was a certainty to score but this lad Maloney he's got so much to do he just puts the laces through it it's the one where he sort of strikes through the valve it's dipping, it's swerving but you've still got to get it in the right area my word he puts it right into that top corner he does it for Wigan well tonight he's done it for Scotland Looks like it's the one, and what a goal. We've scored two magnificent goals here tonight, really have. Well, there it was, the technique from Maloney. As beautiful as always when he finds the net. And the man who teed up Ben Watson's FA Cup winner for Wigan back in May. He's put Scott